Hi guys, today I'm going to make my own version of orange chicken. I'll start by combining all-purpose flour, salt, and ground pepper in a large bowl. Now dip each chicken into the flour and shake off excess. Repeat the process until all chicken were floured. By the way, I brined the chicken in salted water overnight to make it more juicy and tasty. I strained it well and pat to dry before breading it. While doing this, fill the pot about halfway with oil and heat to 350 degrees. Now my hot oil is ready. Next, run the chicken through the egg. Lay the chicken meat in the breadcrumbs and turn it over and press it into the breading and start frying. Repeat the process, egg, breadcrumbs, and into the pot. Continue frying until golden brown. Now all my chicken are breaded and crispy fried to perfection, let's start making the orange sauce. Using a large size wok, set on a medium heat, pour the vegetable oil. Add the minced ginger. I love ginger because it's very aromatic and flavorful. So I'm gonna fry this ginger until color turned bright yellow. Then I'll add the onion and garlic. I'll let it cook for about a minute. Now add half cup of oyster sauce Half cup of brown sugar Two tablespoons of hoisin sauce And half cup of orange juice and mix well. Add the three tablespoons of orange marmalade once the sauce starts to bubble. Marmalade is perfect to this dish because it adds sweet and tangy flavor as well as the orange aroma. Now dissolve two tablespoons of cornstarch in the three tablespoons of vinegar and pour it into your pot. Add a bell pepper and mix again. Let it simmer for 2 minutes. Adjust the taste using salt and pepper. Once the sauce starts to thicken, turn the heat to low. 
Then add the breaded chicken back to the wok and coat with sauce. Keep mixing until all chicken are coated. Cook for about a minute and turn off the heat. At this point, I don't want to make this process of coating too long because I want to keep my chicken still a bit crunchy when I serve it. Once your chicken are fully coated with sauce, Turn off the heat, and you may now transfer this to a nice serving plate. Here's our finished product! Try making this at home and your family will feel like you're eating at a restaurant. Happy eating!